Park Guell is a privatized park system composed of gardens and architectural elements located on Carmel Hill, in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. Carmel Hill belongs to the mountain range of Coisarola, the Parc del Carmel is located on the northern face. Parc Guell is located in La Salou, a neighborhood in the Gracia district of Barcelona. With urbanization in mind, Yusubi Guell assigned the design of the park to Antoni Gothi, a renowned architect and the face of Catalan modernism. The park was built from 1900 to 1914 and was officially opened as a public park in 1926. In 1984, UNESCO declared the park a World Heritage Site under works of Antoni Gothi. Park Guell is the reflection of Gothi's artistic plenitude, which belongs to his naturalist phase. During this period, the architect perfected his personal style through inspiration from organic shapes. He put into practice a series of new structural solutions rooted in the analysis of geometry. To that, the Catalan artist adds creative liberty and an imaginative, ornamental creation. Starting from a sort of baroquism, his works acquire a structural richness of forms and volumes, free of the rational rigidity or any sort of classic premises. In the design of Park Well, Gothi unleashed all his architectonic genius and put to practice much of his innovative structural solutions that would become the symbol of his organic style and that would culminate in the creation of the Basilica and an expiatory church of the Holy Family. Boyle and Gothi conceived this park, situated within a natural park. They imagined an organized grouping of high-quality homes, decked out with all the latest technological advancements to ensure maximum comfort, finished off with an artistic touch. They also envisioned a community strongly influenced by symbolism, since, in the common elements of the park, they were trying to synthesize many of the political and religious ideals shared by patron and architect. Therefore there are noticeable concepts originating from political Catalanism, especially in the entrance stairway where the Catalan countries are represented, and from Catholicism, the Monumento al Calvario. Originally designed to be a chapel. The mythological elements are so important, apparently Guell and Gothi's conception of the park was also inspired by the Temple of Apollo of Delphi. On the other hand, many experts have tried to link the park to various symbols because of the complex iconography that Gothi applied to the urban project. Such references go from political vindication to religious exaltation, passing through mythology, history and philosophy. Specifically, many studies claim to see references to Freemasonry, despite the deep religious beliefs of both Gothi and Count Guell. These references have not been proven in the historiography of the modern architect. The multiplicity of symbols found in the Park Guell is, as previously mentioned, associated to political and religious signs with a touch of mystery according to the preferences of that time for enigmas and puzzles. The Gothi House Museum The Park was originally part of a commercially unsuccessful housing site, the idea of Count Eusebi Guell, after whom the park was named. It was inspired by the English Garden City movement, hence the original English name park. The site was a rocky hill with little vegetation and few trees, called Montaña Pelada. It already included a large country house called Lerard House or Montaner Adult House and was next to a neighborhood of upper-class houses called La Salou. The intention was to exploit the fresh air and beautiful views from the site, with 60 triangular lots being provided for luxury houses. Count Eusebi Guell added to the prestige of the development by moving in 1906 to live in Lerard House. Ultimately, only two houses were built, neither designed by Gothi. One was intended to be a show house, but on being completed in 1904 was put up for sale, and as no buyers came forward, Gothi, at Guell's suggestion, bought it with his savings and moved in with his family and his father in 1906. This house, where Gothi lived from 1906 to 1926, was built by Francesc Berenger in 1904. It contains original works by Gothi and several of his collaborators. It is now the Gothi House Museum since 1963. In 1969 it was declared a historical artistic monument of national interest. Gothi's multicolored mosaic salamander, popularly known as El Drac, at the main entrance, as restored after the vandalism of February 2007 Gothi's mosaic work on the main terrace it has since been converted into a municipal garden. It can be reached by underground railway, by city buses, or by commercial tourist buses. Since October 2013 there is an entrance fee to visit the monumental zone, but the entrance to the park remains free. Gothi's house, La Torre Rosa, dash containing furniture that he designed, can be only visited for another entrance fee. There is a reduced rate for those wishing to see both Gothi's house and the Sagrada Familia Church. Park Guell is designed and composed to bring the peace and calm that one would expect from a park. 
The buildings flanking the entrance, though very original and remarkable with fantastically shaped roofs with unusual pinnacles, fit in well with the use of. The park is pleasure gardens and seem relatively inconspicuous in the landscape when one considers the flamboyance of other buildings designed by Gothi. These two buildings make up the Porter's Lodge Pavilion. One of these buildings contains a small room with a telephone booth. The other, while once being the Porter's House, is now a permanent exhibition of the Barcelona City History Museum MUBA focused on the building itself, the park and the city. The focal point of the park is the main terrace, surrounded by a long bench in the form of a sea serpent. The curves of the serpent bench form a number of enclaves, creating a more social atmosphere. Gothi incorporated many motifs of Catalan nationalism, and elements from religious mysticism and ancient poetry, into the park. Much of the design of the benches was the work not of Gothi but of his often overlooked collaborator Josep Maria Jujal. Roadways around the park to service the intended houses were designed by Gothi as structures jutting out from the steep hillside or running on viaducts, with separate footpaths and arcades formed under these structures. This minimized the intrusion of the roads, and Gothi designed them using local stone in a way that integrates them closely into the landscape. His structures echo natural forms, with columns like tree trunks supporting branching vaulting under the roadway, and the curves of vaulting in alignment. Of sloping columns designed in a similar way to his Church of Colonia Guel so that the inverted catenary arch shapes form perfect compression structures. At the park's high point, there is a stone hill composed of steps leading up to a platform which holds three large crosses. The official name of this is El Toro de la Tres Crias, however many tourists choose to call it Calvary. Two of the crosses point north-south and east-west, the third, and tallest cross, points skyward. This lookout offers the most complete view of Barcelona and the bay. It is possible to view the main city in panorama, with the Sagrada Familia, the Agbar Tower, and the Montjuic area visible at a distance. The park supports a wide variety of wildlife, notably several of the non-native species of parrot found in the Barcelona area. Other birds can be seen from the park, with records including short-toed eagle. The park also supports a population of hummingbird hawk moths. Thanks for watching.